I'm going to be just uh, giving a demonstration of the, the OrCam read. Um, Rebecca mentioned that there were two versions of this device. Uh, one which is worn on spectacles, it just fits, it doesn't have to be prescription spectacles, it can be blanks like this. And that of course enables a lot of hands-free use. And then the version called the OrCam read, excuse me, um, which is a small handheld version that uh, about the size of a highlighter pen, or similar in size to the C pen actually. And just on that, just to compare the two, this, this doesn't have built-in dictionary or anything like that. Uh, it's also not connectable to the internet. It's completely self-contained. So that's often quite a positive thing in a situation where you're talking about security of information and not giving an unfair advantage um, for example, in an exam situation. And I think it's also important to consider those situations for all this technology uh, where you might have a human support instead of a technology support. And some students would prefer to have a human support. Maybe that's their preferred learning method. And some people would prefer to be more independent using a piece of technology. Okay, so how does it work? Uh, it can read close print and distant print. And when I say print, unfortunately, it cannot read handwriting, um, but it can read digital print on a computer screen or on an iPad. It can read plain print in a book and it can read print at a distance, for example. Um, a, you know, a, a, it could be a whiteboard with an overhead PowerPoint presentation or something like that. So close and distant. So normally, the speech comes out from the back. You can plug in earphones for privacy. And if you have Bluetooth earbuds, then it, uh, it can transmit through Bluetooth to the earbuds as well. So I'm just going to give a demonstration. I'm just going to get a book. How is my audio? Is it okay? Yeah. Okay, so what we do is we have a trigger button at the front of the OrCam read. We press the trigger button while aiming, and you may see there's a spot that's just appearing on the, on the book. It looks like a mouse pointer. What that's doing is it's instructing the OrCam to just concentrate on the block of text that, uh, that you're aiming at. Now, obviously, if you have no vision, this is not going to be useful because you can't see that. Uh, but even people with low vision can usually detect that uh, if their vision supports it. And of course, for people with dyslexia, they can, of course, see that. So let's say I want to read just this block here. I just aim and release the... Read 3.2. The mirror, eel, the main reflection, is bright and is due to the refracted ray AC being reflected at the back silvered surface and again refracted at the front surface i and other weaker images are formed as shown the net effect of so i was able to select a block of text like that and um, i could choose to read the whole page or a larger block by changing the mode with which i'm reading so what i do is i press a combination of buttons on the all can read and it changes from a laser pointer mode to a box mode. And you can see that as I pull further away, I can see more or less of the text. In fact, theoretically, if I was far enough away, I should be able to get the whole book in. 130 optical properties. The distance O is called the displacement D of the object and if raise the RAL depth, then D, and of course, that could be, uh, it could be uh, from a book. It could be from an iPad. I'll just get an iPad. And so, same idea. You just treat it as if it's a paper surface. Antony plus six one four three six zero one seven. 111, August 18th, 2020, 10, 12 a.m. Hi, Peter, the first have sent a new meeting as couldn't record from yours. Back, he sent, eating. So sorry about the reflection on that. Uh, 
But I think that's a, an important point about the OCHEM is that it can read from digital services as well as from paper services. Um, so we, um, obviously this is very useful for people with a vision impairment. You saw how responsive it is. Um, but uh, it's also, we think, very useful for people with reading difficulties. Now, we often have people who struggle to keep up with curriculum because their, reading, their visual reading pace is so slow, but their auditory processing is really fast. So there are many people who can process and engage, but they just can't read fast enough to keep up. Um, and just on one point there, um, we do have some uh, children who, um, they play a lot of computer games, uh, which they're very good at. Maybe they spend too much time on computer games. But one thing that they do uh, struggle with is reading the flowing chat on the multi-user online games. You know, like, let's go over there and kill that thing. Um, meet you at so-and-so. And they, they're excluded from that when it's purely visual because screen readers can't read that gaming stuff. We don't have screen readers that can work with games in that sense. But with OrCam, you can just zap just that area of the screen very quickly and have that read out loud. And so it may, may seem like a small thing, but it can be for many children and young people, a very big thing. Um, and that's exactly the sort of thing that can be aligned to MDIS goals.